This video will guide you through six steps on how to create a sponsorship agreement. Sponsorship agreement creation is a frequently requested service on the Contracts Council platform, since businesses, event organizers, and sponsors want to ensure they are legally protected when entering into sponsorship relationships. If you need to create a sponsorship agreement, this video is for you. Before we start, just a brief disclaimer. The following information is provided for educational purposes and in no way constitutes legal advice. For legal advice, we encourage you to consult a licensed attorney. You can find more information in the description along with a link to find lawyer drafted templates or an attorney. We will cover who needs a sponsorship agreement, key terms to include in your document, and how to fill out a sponsorship agreement template. Now let's get started. Who needs a sponsorship agreement? A sponsorship agreement is a legally binding document that outlines the terms and conditions under which sponsorship services will be provided for an event, organization, or individual. These agreements are primarily needed by event organizers, individuals or businesses organizing events who seek financial or in-kind support from sponsors, businesses, Companies that want to support events, organizations, or individuals in exchange for promotion or brand visibility. Nonprofits and charities. Organizations seeking partnerships with sponsors to fund or support their initiatives. There are different types of sponsorship agreements you may encounter. Event sponsorship. This type of agreement involves a business providing financial or in-kind support for an event, such as a conference, concert, or sports event, in exchange for promotion or branding opportunities. In-kind sponsorship. In this type, sponsors offer goods or services instead of cash. For example, a catering company might provide food for an event in exchange for promotion. Financial sponsorship. This involves a sponsor providing monetary support for an event, organization, or individual in exchange for marketing opportunities or other benefits. Promotional sponsorship. In this case, the sponsor provides exposure and promotion for an event or organization, often through their marketing channels, in exchange for certain benefits. Key terms included in a sponsorship agreement. There are common sections included in sponsorship agreements. Here are some you will find and want to include. 1. Parties involved. This section includes the legal names of the sponsor and the entity receiving sponsorship. 2. Scope of sponsorship. This section details the nature of the sponsorship, including whether it's financial, in-kind, or promotional support. 3. Compensation and deliverables. This section specifies the payment terms, the support being offered, and the deliverables expected from the sponsored party such as brand exposure or advertising. Four, term and termination. This section outlines the duration of the agreement and the conditions under which it can be terminated by either party. Five, responsibilities of the parties. This section defines the responsibilities of both the sponsor and the sponsored party, such as promoting the sponsor's brand or providing access to events. Six, exclusivity. This section specifies whether the sponsor will be the exclusive sponsor within a certain category or if other sponsors will be allowed. 7. Confidentiality. This section protects any confidential information shared during the sponsorship relationship. 8. Indemnification. This section specifies how the parties will handle any losses arising from the sponsorship. And 9. Dispute resolution. This details the procedure the parties can take in the event of a dispute. How to fill out a sponsorship agreement. Template. Here is a list of six steps you can follow to fill out a sponsorship agreement template you can find on Contracts Council's Marketplace. One, the first step is to select the template you need based on the type of sponsorship in scope. There are multiple lawyer drafted versions to pick from and you can review information about the lawyers who drafted them. Two, the next step will be to fill in the date of the agreement being made and then fill in the legal name of the sponsor and the legal name of the beneficiary or the company receiving sponsorship. Three, the next step is to fill out a brief description of the business product or service of the beneficiary or party receiving the sponsorship. This essentially describes what the business does, so it is clearly outlined in the agreement. Four, the next step is to fill out the fees to be paid by the sponsor and any payment schedules or additional payment terms. 
This is essentially where you make clear what the financial or in-kind support is to be provided by the sponsor. Five, the next step is to fill out Exhibit A, which will outline things like sponsorship fee, in-kind sponsorship, and obligations. This is where you describe the payment or other support being provided by the sponsor and the obligations or both the sponsor and event organizer or beneficiary. Six, for the signature section, you will wanna add the full legal names of both parties so you can prepare the document for signature. Note, the rest of the document has been drafted by a lawyer and does not need to be edited unless you choose to do so. Creating a sponsorship agreement is a vital step in protecting both the sponsor and the sponsored entity in a business relationship. If you need help from an experienced lawyer or want to find a lawyer drafted template, feel free to search Contracts Council Sponsorship Agreement Template or visit contractscouncil.com. Thanks for watching.